Hello! Today we will replace the brake pads on a Shelby GT500 a 2014 model. Note that the brakes on the GT500 are the same on the 2013 and 2014. They're 15 inch brakes with six piston calipers and uh, if you look at 20, the 2011 and 2012 model will have four piston calipers and a little bit smaller discs so just remember when you re you know in this case we are replacing the brake pads it's just because we come back from a track day and uh, we will uh, put the street pads because the race pads are really noisy on the street they squeal a lot so remember after you install the the pads to always depress your pedal brake pedal and when you make your first ride go easy so the brakes the, the brake pads have that have time to settle so let's start this so here are the 15 inch brakes these are not the original rotors these these are garo disc rotors 15 inch they're two piece rotors as you see there's an aluminum center and uh, the rotor and it's a two piece design the original ones are cast in the same in one just one piece and they weigh uh, i think it's 18 pounds more so this is a very good upgrade to reduce the unsprung weight and reduce uh, wheel inertia as well so if you want to know if it's a six piston or four piston you see here the these uh, round edges it, it's one round edge per cylinder so they are in this case one two three cylinders and it's on each each side so it, it's a six piston caliper uh, the the high performance calipers have a quick access to replace the the brake pads from the the top normally when you want to replace your brake pads you need to remove the caliper on the on most of the cars so i'll show you how to replace get back to the normal or the street the street pads the tools you will need very simple a uh, big screwdriver or something that has a big tip you'll see why later a very light hammer and a 13 millimeter socket so let's go ahead and start the first thing you want to do is to remove one pin uh, we'll try not to break the to damage the paint <clears throat> the bottom one is easier to remove so i will go with the bottom one okay now you just press on this, this spring and you will be able to remove the pin easily and then when once this this it's it's kind of it's a kind of a leaf spring when you use this spring when you remove it the other one will be easier easy to remove and you notice here there is a an arrow so when you reinstall the arrow needs to go up Now I remove the last pin. <clears throat> I will have to tap it a little bit. Here you go. Remove this. Then I use the 13 millimeter socket to unscrew this bolt. Hey, hold on. Then I can remove it like this. Now, the brake pads are, are these two parts here. You see the thickness of them, they're almost new. They only have one track day. So the, the pads I will put back, the street pads, are about the same thickness. But you need to know that if I add 
thicker pads to put in, I would have to back the cylinders out. And if I back the cylinders out, I need to go in the uh, under the hood and remove some brake fluid because when you back the cylinders out, it, it raises the brake fluid and you can have uh, some uh, brake flu fluid that flows out, out, out of the container. And these are really damaging for the paint. So remember this. In this case, I will just back them a little bit by hand, not with a special tool. And uh, I will take them out and put the new ones in. Now I can take them out. It's important to uh, identify on which side I, I took them, so I'm going to mark them when I remove them. These are race brakes. They, uh, they are G-Lock brakes. This is the R12 compound race. So you don't want to use this on the street because it's really noisy. But it works really well on the street, so you can install them before you go to the track. And you can drive to the track, do your track day and come back on the same pads. So that's interesting, but if you, you do low speed street driving, you will find that they're noisy as if you were driving a big bus or a, a truck. So now I'm going to get... These are the... As you see, these are... Ford motor, the original model brake pads. So I'm gonna put them back in. It's fairly easy to, to put back. Well, you can see the cylinders, the three cylinders are there. So I'm just gonna slide this, this in like this. Okay, and then I slide the other one. has to be very straight to get in. That's why I'm struggling a little here. Make sure your fingers don't don't have grease on them because you don't want to put grease on the on the pad surface or the ro the rotor surface. So this is there. I put the pins back on the on the right the right way. This I don't enter it right away. Then I put the bolt back. Which I will torque at 22 pounds. Note that these calipers uh, are similar style calipers are found on the the new Mac 1, the new Mustang Mac 1, and they're also found on the Performance Pack 2. And the Performance Pack 1, uh, I think from 2018 and up. So 22 pounds, so not too, not too much torque. It's, this is hollow, so you don't want to break it. And it doesn't seem to be made of steel. It's, it looks like aluminum, so it's probably a little more fragile. So then I won't put this pin right away. I put the spring here back or the pad retainer put it I push here then I push the pin in like this and if you if you look here there are little uh, notches on each side which the spring need will need to to be between these two notches and this is how the spring retains the pins uh, prevent the pin from coming out so I take my uh, my hammer again just take my screwdriver just to finish finish off this to the end this one Make sure that the spring is aligned in between the two notches just to be sure you see when I move the the spring the pads are following so that's it it's done now don't forget when you will 
when I lower the car, you will press the pedal a couple of times just to make sure that the pads go back to seat themselves properly. And the first ride you're gonna do, go easy because the pads will have to um, match the rotors and uh, also they will have to settle on the, on the rotors. If you're not comfortable or you don't understand how brakes work, go see a professional to do this.